wash them out before the last time. Yeah. So, two inch brush, poly brush, which is thin three to one. Um, for thinning instructions, look at the at the can. You'll use uh, either 6575 or RR or RR 8500. That's temperature dependent. 65, 75 degrees or 85 degrees and above. Um, so in this state. <laughs> yeah, so, so 65, 75 is probably what you all want here. And the idea is we need to encapsulate the fabric. Remember we talked about how nitrate dope bleed, bond through, bleed through and bond. Was, was able to push through and actually bond onto itself. I'm going to exaggerate this just, just so I make the point. What you want to see are runs on the inside of the fabric. Yeah, which means it's it's gone all the way through. See the see the runs there on the inside. Mm -hmm. Runs on the inside are a good thing, okay? Because okay? that tells you that, that you've got good penetration. What you don't want to see is a really light pink color. You want some pink? Because that's that's not enough poly brush on there to to encapsulate the fabric and to to seal the fabric. Now what will happen is those runs on the inside, they don't show. They don't show unless they drip on the other side. And have little dribbles on the on the other side. So if we roll this over here very carefully, see oh, me. Oh yeah. That will show. But the runs on the top side won't. So what do we do about these runs now? MEK. MEK on a rag. Wipe it down and then it's good to go. Now how will those little little dots show if we don't do anything about it. Will it show up as a, as a run? Holiday. <laughs> as a holiday. <laughs> no, it'll be a patina difference. It'll be really shiny. It'll be really glossy wherever those, those little drops are. Uh, but that's, that's the only thing we're concerned with. Now, once we brush the top side and we start brushing the bottom and we get runs, do we need to worry about those? No. No, because the top is already sealed up and tight and, and, and dry, so we don't have to worry about those. So go ahead and lay it back down. So you do one to coat at a time, let this flash off for 15 minutes and you flip it and then you... No, I, I do it all at once. All at once. Um, by the time you, you start at the root, finish at the tip, you're, you're ready it's, to flip. it's dry, yeah. And so, here's, here's what I like to do. I'll brush it on, and I don't work it. I keep it wet, just like when you guys were gluing. And then the last thing I do is take my brush and real lightly, and I rake out. Because see all these little bubbles in there? If you catch the, the glare of the light just right, you'll see a bunch of little bubbles. I can come through and rake out most of those little bubbles right there. Okay? And that's and that gives you a nice smooth finish. It's one of those little trip uh, or tips. But see that see that little hair right there? That came out of the brush. If I leave that in there, it's going to show through. There's no way to sand that out. Okay? So what do you do? Oh, you pull it out with your fingers. <laughs> there we go. Well, no, there it is. There we go. All done. <laughs> okay? So put it on thick. Don't work it. And uh, we're going to do the top side, um, all the top, and then we're going to roll it over. And I just want to do a, a, a brush width on the bottom side, right on the ribs. And that's all I want to do on the bottom side. Hello? Okay? okay.